Welcome back to another episode of The Educated Idiot. Today, we are talking about mobility of workbenches and other items within your shop. Quick, simple product we're gonna to install today is going to be our workbench casters. They come in a set of four. I'm gonna post the instructions on the screen now. It is a single page of instructions. It shows the workbench leg, the diameter and dimensions of the actual pedal bracket assembly uh, and where to locate them. We're going to be using this flat bar piece of steel and two clamps to locate the most vertical position of the casters when we get those installed. I've already installed two on the workbench to be able to pull it away from the wall. Here's how they are disassembled. Lower bracket has a small hole in it that the caster fits through. The box itself actually contains two three-quarter drive wrenches that you can utilize to get this assembled once it's mounted to the workbench. We're going to make things a little easier on ourselves. We're going to use a longer ratchet with a three-quarter inch drive socket on it, and we're going to use an impact driver to get the screws set into it. We'll get you set up and get these installed now. All right, to get the casters installed, we installed the piece of straight steel across it. Measured up four and three quarters of an inch and pinned it in place with our clamps. Used our impact driver to run in a single screw on the top on both sides to make sure that they were equal and then run the other five screws in. We utilized one of the flat wrenches as well as our three quarter socket on our ratchet to tighten down the bolts. Now, this bench weighs a pretty good deal. I may have overbuilt it, but simple, easy, one hand lifts everything up. Now we've got all four casters on the workbench itself. I prefer to have my workbenches stay one on the ground, so I don't prefer to have standard casters on the base of my workbenches. So what this allows us to do is move this workbench around the shop and utilize it where we need it. Now this is going to become ideal for the next big thing we've got going in to the shop. Big week this week. We've got the 220 already installed. We're having a 9,000 pound automotive lift installed Monday night. We're going to get that up and running. I hope to get a time-lapse video of those guys getting installed for us. It is going to be a Titan 9,000 pound premium lift. Marla Hooch drives under her own power. We had it out and about and she's ready to go up on the lift. Doors are physically on their way now, which is going to be amazing. We've got the wheels casters installed on the workbench. So now we can move it easier around the shop with just one person. And of course the 70 Chevelle with the Sun X go jacks on it. We're gonna have a link for the casters that we installed. We'll throw a picture up on the screen now. As well, we're gonna have a link to the SunX Go Jacks that we have under the 70 Chevelle, and I'll throw a picture of those up now as well. Thank you for getting educated. Remember, if you hated that video, you know what to do. But if you liked the video, hit that like button. While you're clicking buttons, might as well click the subscribe and the bell buttons to be the first to watch the new Educated Idiot videos.